Lieutenant Learning! I'm so excited because this time we're gonna be doing a science experiment. Do you wanna know what science is? It's the study and the observation of the universe and how things work. Yeah, we get to observe the universe by attempting to do different science experiments. And today, we're gonna do an ultra special and explosive science experiment. I cannot wait for you to see. Hey, we're about to do a science experiment and I love science experiments. And this one's really easy and simple to do. <laughs> hey, maybe you could try it sometime. See all that stuff? Yeah. These are all the things that we're gonna need to conduct our science experiment. We have vinegar over here, we have baking soda, and we have food coloring. Hey, first things first, let's try putting a drop or two of food coloring in here. Let's start with bread. Boop, boop, hey, yeah. And then we have blue. Boop. Then we have green. And then we have yellow. Let's put these aside. And then let's go with our baking soda. <laughs> Whoa! This is gonna be so cool. I can't wait for you to see what happens. Baking soda is a type of salt. Yeah, it's actually sodium bicarbonate. And what happens when sodium bicarbonate and vinegar interact with each other, well, Let's just wait and see. Should we start over here with the red? Or the blue? Or the green? Or the yellow? I think we'll start with the red. Here we go. Whoa! Oh, do you see that? That's so cool. Look at it. It turned the bubbles red. So let's try. Let's try the blue this time, I think. Yeah. Are you ready? Because I know I sure am. Whoa! There's a chemical reaction happening with the baking soda and the vinegar. Yeah, the baking soda is really, really alkaline, which means it's at a neutral pH balance. Yeah, and vinegar is really acidic. When the vinegar and the baking soda interact with each other, they're trying to cancel each other out, and it causes these little tiny explosions. <laughs> Next up, we have the green color. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. Watch this. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, that's so cool. Look at that. And then the next color is the yellowish orange color. Hey, did you know if we put a little extra in it, it'll make it orange? Let's try it. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that was so much fun. I really love doing science experiments and showing you cool and new things. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Now it's science time. Hey. I can't wait. Do the science experiment. <laughs> oh, wait. Where's all my safety gear and my science equipment? Oh, I better get that. Ready? Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Whoa! Look how cool I am! Whoa, that was awesome! These are my gloves! These are my shoe covers! This is my lab coat! <laughs> and I even have some safety goggles! Let's put these gloves on and then let's magically make all of our. Are you ready? <laughs> hey! Just popping in! I figure I'll need that because we're gonna make. An explosion! A safe one, but still a lot of fun. These Mentos right here have very rigid surfaces. And when I put them in to the soda, all the carbon dioxide is gonna rush to the Mentos. And it's gonna cause a chemical reaction, which is gonna make all of it come out of the bottle. Oh man, I definitely think I'll need that umbrella because it's gonna come raining down everywhere. Before we get going, hey, how many? Soda bottles do we have here? One, One two, two, three, three four. four. We have four soda bottles. And how many things of Mentos do we have? Two, two four, four, six, six eight. eight. We have eight things of Mentos. Hey, 
Let's get started. What I'm doing right now is I'm putting all the Mentos in this tube to get it ready to go into the bottle. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Whoa! That was crazy. Ready for the next one? Here we go. Three, two, one. Like I said, all of the carbon dioxide from the soda rushed to the Mentos, and then it made it all explode at the top. Ready to blast off in three, three two, one. Whoa, that was amazing. Hey, we only have one more to go. How many did we just do? We did one, Five, two, two, three, three. And now we're about to do our fourth experiment. Last. But not least, it's our fourth experiment. <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's go. Whoa! Oh, did you see that? Oh, that was so much fun. Oh, it was so cool doing that science experiment with you. Whoa! <laughs> that was so much fun. Hey, I've got a really cool science experiment for you too. And this one's on bubbles as well, but different kinds of bubbles. The science experiment that I used with the Mentos and the soda was a bunch of little tiny bubbles that made a big cool explosion with the soda. <laughs> but this one is ginormous bubbles. Bubbles so big that you won't even believe it. <laughs> so first up, we have the string. This part is really important. Not just any kind of string or rope, this is cotton rope. Whoa! Watch out! I'm going down the slope. I'm skiing. Yeah, I'm using my imagination. It's actually really hot out here. There's no snow. Hey, do you remember that rope that I was talking about? Whoa, check it out. This is my bubble rope. Yeah. This is what I'm going to use to catch all the soap. And then I'm going to make a really big bubble. What we need to do the science experiment is gourd gum, baking soda, and last but not least, the soap. <laughs> gourd gum makes sure that the bubbles have elasticity so they don't break right away. And then the baking soda neutralizes the solution. Yeah, it brings the pH to about seven. That's really important. That also helps them not break. And pH just means the actual balance. Yeah, things can be acidic and things can be alkaline. And if they're at seven, then that means they're right in the middle, right where they need to be. <laughs> and that's gonna help us make some really cool bubbles today. So you can use any kind of gourd gum you want. You just have to make sure it's pure gourd gum. And I'm gonna use about a tablespoon. Same thing with the baking soda. Whoa, it looks like we're already starting. <laughs> the next step that's really important is mixing your bubble mixture. Yeah, you don't wanna put the water in just yet, because the soap actually helps to make sure that it has the right viscosity. Viscosity just means thickness. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna mix it in with the soap. <laughs> and then after I get it all mixed in really, 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 really nice, yeah, then I'm gonna add the water. <laughs> just keep mixing, just keep mixing, 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 mixing. <laughs> you see everything coming together? Yeah, that's so cool. See, it's not quite mixed. See how it's a little chunky? Well, I gotta make sure that it's not. Hey, are you ready for the next step? Yeah. The next step is that we use two gallons of distilled water. <laughs> and I like to do it all in a five gallon bucket. Are you ready? Whoa, it's getting so full in there. Voila. <laughs> now we added the water and I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit. Oh, do you see that? Yeah, that's the bubble mixture. It's got a lot of air bubbles in it. Now we're just gonna let those pop for a couple minutes and then we're gonna start the science experiment. <laughs> so excited. Hey, I made a mistake. I was supposed to add three gallons, not two gallons. <laughs> but that's okay. Even adults make mistakes sometimes. 
So don't worry if you make a mistake, you can always make it right! Making bubbles all day, we're in the sun and like to play. <laughs> I love singing and I love dancing and I love making art and science experiments and all kinds of other fun stuff like that. Hey, can you tell me something that you like to do? Oh, really? No way, me too! <laughs> that is so fun, isn't it? It seems like they keep breaking. Oh, and that could be really frustrating. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes things don't go exactly the way you want them to go. And you just gotta realize that that's life. The only constant is change. <laughs> Albert Einstein said that. He was really, really smart. That means that in life you think that something should go a certain way, and it doesn't. <laughs> but you just gotta pick yourself back up and go, all right, let's make sure that this works a different way, but you can still make something really cool out of something that you didn't think could happen. Yeah, sometimes some of the best stuff is stuff that you didn't plan at all. Did you know that your attitude can change the world? Yeah, there's been a couple times where the bubbles didn't work out. Yeah, I was trying and they popped. I could have gotten frustrated and said, oh, why isn't it working? And got mad, or I could have said, I'm gonna keep trying and had a good positive attitude, and that just makes me feel really good. Yeah, when I feel frustrated, that doesn't make me feel good. Does that make you feel good when you get angry or upset? No, but it's okay to get angry or upset. It's just knowing what to do with those emotions that's important. And if you turn those emotions into good ones by saying, I'm frustrated, but I can make something good come out of it, that is always the best result. Hey, let's try to see if we can make one of those results right now. Whoa, that was really cool. Do you remember how I put all those ingredients in the bucket together and mixed them up? Well, each one of those is really, really important. You couldn't make these bubbles without the soap. You couldn't do it without the water, the gourd gum, or the baking soda. Yeah, in the right ratios, in the proper amounts, you can make something really magical happen. Like these really big bubbles. So much fun to watch them go so... Whoa! <laughs> See that? Yeah. All that together made a really big bubble. But I wanted to let you know that you're one of a kind, just like each one of these bubbles. Some of them are different sizes and different colors, but that's cool. That's what makes life amazing. And that's what makes you amazing too. There's never ever ever gonna be one of you again. Yeah, so just be the way that you are because the world needs someone just like you. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> I had so much fun doing the science experiment with you. Hey, before we go, I wanted to remind you to always be a friend. You know what that means? That means being kind, sharing your toys, and sharing your time with others. Yeah, what kind of world do you want? Yeah, well, if that's the kind of world you want, one that makes you happy, then you have to be good and be nice to people because you make the difference. Thank you so much for joining us, and I cannot wait to catch you on the next one. Thank you so much. Bye!